What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Austin H. Oshkraft here, coming at you from my bedroom. Well, gotta say another tech review today. Um, I know, I don't know if y'all can tell quite yet, but the uploads are kind of going to start slowing down, but not enough for me to stop. It's going to be maybe a vid every two days, because I got school now. Sophomore status, woo woo, but, uh, but um, yeah, that sort of videos might start slowing down, but until then, I'm gonna keep making my videos that I got five subscribers on. And this product review is not gonna be like a single product, it's gonna be like a tackle good way to catch some summertime bats, and that is on a Wacky Rig Cinco. Can't tell. I got this on a VMC. I think it's a Dream Shot hook, actually. It's a 2 op version. It's got a little bend in there, if y'all can't tell. See? Got bends. But, um, throw these, like, say, if I was looking at a, a brush pile. Well, I'm also throwing this on a bait caster, so it won't cast far. But I just throw this around all these little, like any little weed line. Work this on the slack line. You'll just watch your line jump, or you'll see your line start swimming. That's when you hook it. Um, not much to say on this uh, video. Just besides that this lure flat out catches fish. It's amazing. Yeah. But, uh, I need to loosen up my attention to throw this thing. But I would recommend if you don't, well, I do have a spinner reel, but got like 20 pound test on it, so it won't happen. So I'm just going to throw it on this 2 pound fluorocarbon right here. And it's a, this is a Yum Dinger. I like the Yum Dinger Cinco's because they're inexpensive and they work. Just as good as Gary Young Meadows. In fact, in my opinion, even better. But, um, so, I like to throw this, though, mainly in the summertime and springtime. And just do what I'll do. Some more hits of water, do a couple flips with it, let it shimmy down to the bottom. Kind of does like a, let me see if I can get straight. Kind of just does this on the way down. It flurries down. Once it gets on the bottom, boom, boom, let it sit, boom, boom, like that. I'll do like two or three hops at the most. But if I had to give this lure scale on a 1 to 10, how much times I had a success with it, I'd give it a 9. One problem I don't have with it, if you don't have any O-rings, which I'm probably going to pick some up this weekend, maybe, I don't know yet, is the bait breaks, like gets ripped in half usually after every 1 to 2 fish. But that's all the time I have for this video, folks. Um, just decided to interrupt my homework session to bring you guys a video. So, like, comment, subscribe, enjoy, and uh, adios. Mm, that cool. Adios.